Good morning, everybody. We are um, picking it back up in Matthew. We um, Judas has just betrayed Jesus with a kiss, and um, the mob has seized him, and the disciples just fled, and they are taking him to the high priest Caiaphas um, for judgment. Sad, sad time. So we'll continue it there. Lord, we ask you for wisdom and understanding uh, as we read this difficult part of your word. Uh, forgive us of this and know that we love you. Open eyes and open ears. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Verse 58. But Peter followed him afar off unto the high priest's palace and went in and sat with the ser servants to see the end. Now the chief priests and elders and all the council sought false witness against Jesus to put him to death. These are the religious leaders doing this. But found none. Yea, though many false witnesses came, um, yet found they none who were willing to testify against him. At the last came two false witnesses, which is all they need, and said, this fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. Um, and the note here, <laughs> talk about false, says, I am able to destroy. That is not what he said. Um, it was destroy ye. You destroy the temple and I'll rebuild it in three days. And I thought it was important to go um, into John, um, where it was a little more detail of when he said that. He had just scourged the temple. Um, and uh, again, the priests um, or religious leaders says, this is John 2, verse 18. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing thou hast done all these things? You've just cleansed the temple. Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, you destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body, the many-membered body of Christ. Um, I thought that was precious. So, uh, and the high priest, this is verse 62, And the high priest arose and said unto him, Answerest thou nothing? They're taunting him now. What is it which these witness against thee? But Jesus held his peace. He didn't say a word. And the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure thee, I put thee on thine oath, is what that means, by the living God that thou tell us whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. And Je Jesus saith unto him, Thou hast said. Nevertheless, I say unto you, Hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Coming where? Coming to this earth. After this. Um, and that was quoted from Psalms and also Daniel. So a lot of prophecy being fulfilled here. Then this <laughs> really made him crazy. Then the high priest rent his clothes, which means just to rip because he was so upset saying, He has spoken blasphemy. What further need have we of witnesses? Let's just condemn him now. Behold, now ye have heard his blasphemy. What think ye? They answered, this is the multitude, and said, He is guilty or deserving of death. Then did they spit in his face and buffeted him. They slapped him. And others smote him with the palm of their hands. They hid him, saying, Prophesy unto us, thou Christ, who is he that smote thee? Who do you think it is that's saying that? It's the devil. It's the devil and his demons that got into those people. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, he'll have the last laugh, though. I'm going to leave it there. 
uh, just because it's a good place to stop. And um, we will pick it up tomorrow. Uh, another sad part of this, Peter denying him thrice before the cop crows. So I love you all. I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday, and we will pick it up there tomorrow. Have a good day.